the event, bro. Let's talk about the event. Um, now let me say this: you can't blame the, in my opinion, you can't blame the league owner for certain battles. How if they turn, if they look good on paper, they're expecting to be good battles. Right. See what I'm saying? So ballots don't show up to perform or whatever the case may be. You can't blame the league owners where I'm coming from with it. Right. Um, that being, go ahead. So, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, for me. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. For me, man, I just want to give a congratulations to uh, RBE, man. Like, what, what an event, man. Um, it was just, it was just great, right, to see so many people pop out for these guys. You know, I thought that was incredible, man. Like, it basically sold out, and the fan love was incredible. And you know, we we haven't had an event like that in a year, man. Like, so to to be a part of that in any capacity was a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Hey, hey, um, can you I see me? Shot for the event. Let me ask you a question. How was the crowd? How was the energy? Energy was very, very high, man. Very high. I think towards the end, you know, whenever you're the he- people always, you know, say, yo, I'm the headliner, I'm the headliner. But whenever you're the headliner after a long event, you got to have incredible material. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that the material is good at the, for the headline headliners, but we'll talk about that when it gets to that point. You know what I mean? Um, but I thought the crowd was really good. I thought they were very, very fair. You just had to work for it as the night went on. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, I didn't really catch the one SK battles like that. I know there was a, was a dude who battled someone who was six four. The very first battle, the short dude was spazzing. I didn't see any one SKs because I was trying to get some food. So okay. uh, I didn't. I didn't see not one one SK, bro. Okay. The, the the second one SK was like five day notice. I, my thing about it is this: like with a card like this, for it to be five days notice, don't even waste it. Don't even. You know what I mean? Just have a battle up there that's not going to be super crazy like that because they're rushing anyway. And that's kind of how I felt about that battle. The crowd really wasn't rocking with Super Black or his opponent like that, in my opinion. But shout out to them. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Because I really want to get to this first battle. I got to get to this first battle. Show off versus Rosenberg. (laughs) Oh, man. Going into this battle... Show off was saying there is no way Raw can beat him. He was saying that Raw could not rap with him. He was saying 30. He was saying he was going to have the bars of the night. He's going to steal the show. How did you call Show Off versus Rosenberg Raw? I called that one 3 0 for Raw. For Raw? 3 0 Raw. 3 0 Raw, man. Uh, Yo, bro. I, <laughs> yo, man, show off is my guy, man. That's my guy. Yeah, man. yeah. And um, I, I, I just don't feel like. I feel like we didn't. I feel like the best show off in that battle was the first round, and I just feel like there was something missing, man. It just didn't feel like normal show. It didn't feel like the math show off. It didn't feel like, you know, what I'm saying any other show off that we're kind of accustomed to. It just felt like a different show off for some reason. I don't know. What I don't know what was going on with his material, um, but you know, Raw just Raw just exploited everything about you know the 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 pers- the, pers- the personality of what Show Off portrays, and he just kind of got down to business. He he wasn't playing around. I was, I was shocked. I had Raw two one. I mean, I had Show Off going into it, and then Raw he really. He really made it happen. I'm, I'm shocked. I can't believe he won that battle 3 0. Let me tell you something, Mickey. When I seen Raw first round, I said, Oh, this is the big K Raw. Yeah. Like, like, this is the big K Raw right here. He don't, like, I feel like in that battle, he was the underdog too. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, I feel like, and like, he did what he's supposed to do. That's what I seen last night from Raw. I, he wasn't playing no games. He wasn't playing no games. That Vicky Fold best of the whole up, y'all. Yo, DNA2, what up, what up, what up, what up? Oh, there you go. I got you, Mickey. Let me add him back on.
Yo, that was my fault, man. My phone started tripping for some reason. Nah, you you good, you good. Like like I said, I was saying, like Raw showed up last night, and you could, if you look at the first round, you can see it. You can see it. I got yeah. yo shout out to Rosenberg Raw, man. God, shout out to Rosenberg Raw, bro. Yo, man, I I can't I can't believe this, man. Like thirty, first, Mickey, thirty. It was a thirty, man. It was a curry. But what what about polarized though? Can we talk about polarized real quick, man? Mickey, why are you doing this, man? <laughs> why are you doing this, Mickey? You just want to hear me go off, bro. I'm gonna kill you with the word polarized. I grab the pole. Polarized, Mickey. Wow, Mickey, Mickey. Yo. Pulverized, man. I saw Daylight talk about yo. He, he was talking about Cassidy and Hitman battle. He said this battle was pulverizing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, niggas is rude, B. Listen, I don't know what that. I don't know what pulverized. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's... He said pulverized. I said what the? Oh, all right, okay, all right, all right. Three oh round like show off, show off. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I couldn't believe look, the first round I said, Oh, okay, all right, all right. I seen Show up wanted to hurry up and get the second round getting going. That's how I know. When I be watching battle rappers, I, you can tell. You can you can tell when they feel like they lost the uh, or they lost the round. Their body language and everything shows it. Show showed that he thought he was down round one. Both of their second round, I feel like was like eh. Neither one was super crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was. I think it was a thirty, Mickey. Yeah, it was thirty. It was thirty. It's clean thirty. Clean, 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 clean thirty. Clean, clean thirty. Clean. It show up through the. It show up through the RBE came. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Come on. No. Nah. Mm -mm. So what is it? Automatically raw now? I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's raw. But I would say that Raw has an argument. Raw has an Definitely. argument. He has Definitely. an argument now. And he, you know, if he, if, if Show Up loses 2-1, then it's like, all right, you know, you can still say he might still be the king. But this is a clean 3-0 after the craziness he was talking. And, you know, Show Up is my guy, man. It, it hurt. Because I had Show Up going into it. And then to see that, it was rough, man. Mm, 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 mm. Show Off, Show Off. Shout out to you, show up, but that did not go the way you thought it was going to go. A lot of people in my section in the, in the balcony was not happy with show off. They were not happy. Really? They were not happy. A lot of people had show off in that building. And then a lot of people were shocked at Royal One. A lot of people. Which leads to the next battle. The next battle was? A Ward and Will. A Ward and Will. I didn't see that whole battle. I mean, that that shit was over an hour, bro. That was in a bag from what I seen. I think it was like the third round, I guess. Bro, bro, that those first two rounds was. Yeah, the first two rounds was crazy. It was beautiful. The first man. two rounds was crazy. Those rebuttals. I'm sure the third was the same way as the first two. Am I wrong? Third round was a it was, it was a drop off, but you know I don't think it was their fault. I don't think it was their fault. You know I think. Okay. I think both of their first rounds were so incredible, and then their second rounds was better than their first rounds, and it's like it was hard to top the third. Mm. That it was hard to top it with that it third been, round. It would have had to be like super great to go to go even higher than where, the, where you were just at. Yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I, but it was a it was a great battle. It, that takes nothing away from them, you know. Yeah. A lot of people was mad at Will. I, I mean, I, to me, I think it's a close battle, but I gave it the really. Ador. I gave it the A award. I gave it the A award. A lot of people gave it the A award. Nah, Mickey, I can't count on you though. I just thought about that. You down with what? Isn't A award down with with YTG? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He is. He is. Huh? Yes, he is. Yeah, Mickey, think you slick. You uh, think you slick? You trying to slide that in on me real quick? Pause. Nah, I gotta watch that lot, battle, bro. You gonna root for your brother? Got, a lot of people got Ward winning, man. Will drop the ball. Will drop the ball. Man. Will drop the ball. I think Will dropped the ball. Man. I think he did. I mean, people, this guy right here, Toma, Toma, Agua, he got Will. He got Will 2-1. I think it's a close joint. I think it's very close. It could go either way, but I, I lean towards a -Ward. I thought he was a little bit more creative. He he, he put on a, a Adidas uh, bucket hat. 
and was rapping like Ill Will. You know, I thought that was dope. That had the crowd go crazy. Even had even had Ill Will go crazy. You know, so it's things like that. It's the intangibles that you kind of have to go with with Ward on. But make no mistake, Ill Will was in freaking incredible, bro. Like he, his their rebuttals were just magnificent magnificent rebuttals i talked to big cannon today on clubhouse and he was like man those rebuttals had me he was like those rebuttals had me so hype you know so man that they was clay more more clay and they just they were they were rebuttaling the rebuttals man like wow what a what a battle what a battle clearly battle of the night clearly clearly battle of the night clearly without a second second guess without a second guess okay Okay, shout out to A1 and Ill. I can't wait to watch the third round. I'm going to watch the whole joint over now. Shout yeah. out to A1 and Ill Will. The first two, they was already getting busy. Yeah, fine. Definitely, And the crowd was definitely rocking with them. Yeah, man. A1 is so versatile. That's really what it is. Yeah, it's oh, about perfect. that time. It's about that time Ward gets some bigger plates, man. If he, 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 he stood in front of a, a – even if he lost to some people, he stood in front of a great – ill will in front of a thousand people as the underdog and might have pulled it off. You gotta give A Ward. You gotta put some respect on that man's name. Have to. Okay. 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 So that's A Ward and Ill Will. That's A Ward and Ill Will. Oh, here we go. Here we go, man. <laughs> here, here we go, man. Oh, with the next battle Jack and O Red? Yeah. Was the next battle Jag and Old Red? Next battle was Jag and Old Red, man. Old Red, Old Red, Old Red. And I, yeah. when I interviewed Jag, I told him Old Red gonna beat you, bro. Like all this promo you doing, you killing him about your teeth falling out and all of that. You you, you killing him at the face off, barking all on him. I said, yo, Red still gonna beat you. You gonna do your thing, but Red gonna beat you. Listen, I heard. Listen, you know how last time we was on the, we was on the live, everybody heard red rounds. The people in the comments heard red rounds. I mean, nah, on jag, well, jag rounds. everybody heard jag rounds. Yeah, everybody heard jag rounds. So everybody, and everybody said jag was, was was good too. Yeah, he was good. He, he was oh, good. Said I heard jag rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah, man, like I had it jag two one. Jag two one. In the building, a lot of people were mad at red. A lot of people were mad at Red B. Super mad or super. I mean, it's almost equivalent to the show off battle. Yeah, people were mad at show. People were mad at Red. People were very mad at Red. Very we thought mad. Yachu was going to show up, if anything. Yachu was going to show up. Bruh. Jag, you know, I, I heard Jag rounds and I had Jag winning. And then he was making Red mad. So I said, yeah, I got Red edging it. And Jag wound up winning clear. And you know, red voice went out. People were very. What's up with that? Yo, I don't know. I don't it was know. The face off the night before. Face off. He should have drunk tea. Screaming and yelling, he was doing this nigga voice was playing a hide and go see. He should have. He should have had tea, man. He should have had tea. He but he should have drunk tea all day. Mm. Mm. I think, but the, you know, that, that wasn't even a on a scale of one to ten. That was like O red on a six. Yeah, that yeah, was a pretty was, bad old red. That was a pretty bad old red. But look though, but Mickey, it was to the but he was not in position. To, he had to be a ten. I'm gonna be real with you. It was one thing when Jab was saying, "I'm a beast, I'm a beast." When we went live and his teeth like actually came out of his mouth, and then Jab went on a whole nother promo run talking about his teeth. Like, boy, you supposed to, you supposed to be writing down some lava at that point. Yeah, you that's what I told him. Jab to pay for all of that. Listen, you know me. You know how I give it up, man. I I, I live recap, so I, I went on and I didn't tag Red. I just said, "Yo, Jag really won." Yeah. And then he retweeted and was like, "Yo, so we giving niggas wins for choking?" And I was like, "I don't think he choked, bro." I don't. Yo, think... you know what's crazy? Everybody kept saying that. I didn't really see it like that either. I don't think he choked. I think he. I, this is what happened from my standpoint. He 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 got booed in the beginning of his second round. Mm -hmm. And then he he finally got a reaction for something he said. And then he started flexing on stage. He started getting crazy. And when he did that, he forgot his place. So he ran it back. He ran it back. Okay. And then he started rhyming again. 
Um, I think he took it back like maybe eight bars. It was, it was not like the John John shit. John John went back. Nah, I wasn't like the John John joint. This was like it, that far back. I, I, I didn't really see it like that, bro. I didn't really so, see it like that. So Red is trying to say he choked, and because Jag choked, we should give Red that round. Um, and for me, I don't agree. I don't think he choked. I think, I think he lost his place. He realized that he lost his place, and he knew what he had to do to get back to the place that he was supposed to be. And once he did that. He finished his round. I told this to Red. Everything I'm saying to you, I said to Red. I'll ask you a question. Yes. Is that not technically a choke? Real talk. He lost his place. I said, I said to him, I said to him yesterday, I said he lost his place. We visibly saw he lost his place, but he he brung it back. Like I don't I don't consider that a choke. I, what I consider a choke is somebody who completely just stops and they not. They're not even trying to fight back. They're not trying to bring it back or nothing. He brung it back, and it was seamless. Um, and me and Red talked about it. I was like, listen, if this was Fight Club, then yeah, like, he choked. But this ain't Fight Club. If we're going to go off Fight Club rules, then yeah, he, he choked, and you won the battle. But overall, from an overall standpoint, I don't feel like you won the battle. Your man, yeah. your man said yeah. your man said that he, uh, he 3-0'd him. He said he three o Jag. <laughs> he said who? who? Oh Red. Oh Red said he three o Jag, bro. Oh Red said he three o Jag. Yeah, that's what he told me. He was like, "Yo, I three o him." I said, "What?" <laughs> I said, "Excuse no, me, Red? No, Red, we're not doing that, Oh Red. You lost, bro. Yo, Oh Red lost all the way around the board. You lost in a promo. You lost in a face off, face to face. Then you turned around and lost." The battle, like you lost all the way around the board here. You didn't win in no category in terms of this battle with Jack. That's yeah. crazy. And yeah. you got a wild ass angle that's gonna be on you forever now with your teeth falling out. I think this is all around bad for Old Red. Yeah, he gonna get the angle of his teeth falling out, and he gonna get the angle of you know Jack beating him. He gonna hear yeah. that for a long time. Yeah, he on the biggest party ever been on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Red, he lost to me. He lost to me. He lost to me, man. I, I felt bad. I felt bad, but I told Red, I said, listen, that wasn't a, I don't know what you was doing, bro. You wasn't wasn't the best that we know you to be. And, and, and a lot of us, a lot of us in the culture felt like because he made you mad, you was going to go crazy. And you did not exactly. go crazy at all, bro. Exactly. He didn't go crazy. Yo, bro, I thought like yeah, Red was gonna snap from beginning to end and really show this nigga like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You, you got me mad. Like I ain't see that at all. I ain't see that at all. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I. I for me, I'm very disappointed. I thought we were gonna see a great old Red, and we didn't. So shout out to Jag though. Jag did what he was supposed to do. He yeah, did yeah, an incredible yeah, job. Right. You know, good job, Jag. Right, yeah. You know, I, I think I see people saying the battle was trash and they should throw the battle away and that Jag wasn't good. I I I disagree. I thought Jag did a very good job and did what he was supposed to do. You gotta, you gotta salute him on that, you know what I mean? Yeah. He said he's gonna win and he won. That's just the bottom line I got right there. You know what I'm saying? Big K and Clone, was it six days notice? Something like that? Yeah, six days notice for for, Kent, for K and Clone. Six days notice. How you had that? Big K? Yeah, I had K21. I thought Clone did good, though. I gave it the K. Did good. I gave it the K first round, third round. Yo, yo, Clone definitely did good, I feel like. He definitely did good. He, you know, Clone could have probably pulled the third round off too if he would have, if he would have uh, had like a better, I don't know, but it was tough. It was, it was tough. It's tough to beat K. K has haymakers, man. And as good as Clone is, is he doesn't have he doesn't have the haymakers to match with K. You know. And it wasn't even a laid back Clone either. Uh, a laid back K. He came out like on fire from the rip with that energy and all of that. He wasn't playing with him. Yeah, K. He was not talking to kill him. Guys, salute K for that man. Attack of the Clones bar was fire. He just had a lot of great, great material for Clone. So in that very short time span. So shout out to them.
But I do. I Once think. Again, shout out to Clone, though. Got to keep it real. Shout out to Clone. And the price. I think his stock went up on that one. I think his stock went up. Do you think this would have been a better battle for with Series Jones? Would it have more time? Yeah. What do you yeah. think on that whole Series Jones situation, though? You like. Oh, man. I, I mean, you know, there's three sides to a story. You know, you got the, the truth, you got Sirius Jones side, and then you got ARP side. And so far, we only got Sirius Jones side. So we have to wait to hear what ARP has to say, and then we have to, you know, deduce what is the truth. Um, but I would have loved to see Jones. I think a lot of people was expecting to see Jones. I think seeing Jones back from after coming home would have been great to see. You know, seeing a legend in Atlanta, you know, I think I think it was necessary. You know what I'm saying? I think it would have been necessary. Yo, the thing about it is that I had Jones' side, but number one, I was that when, when K ended his third – and he said, URL did it again. I said, whoa. You know, so I'm instantly like, whoa. Oh, yeah. man. I'm already hearing he's in the tournament. Yeah, I heard like, the same. All this is weird. All this is it's just like, uh, my thing about it is this. And I thought about it this morning. Jones, my nigga, like, please tell me you kept it 100%. 100 with everything you said. Because you got to understand right now. You, you've been gone. Maybe you don't know what ARP can do in a blog. But number one, if you're lying, he's going to prove you lying. Yeah, he's gonna prove and it. Definitely gonna be paying attention to it, and and most and more importantly, dog. I hope you didn't just mess up a relationship with these niggas. To be, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't see that getting fixed right there. That ain't getting fixed right there. When you mess up, sir, when battlers mess up relationships with the leagues, it's like know what you're doing because you ain't going there no more. So you better do your thing when you are real right now. You better do your thing. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing I, what I remember ARP saying. ARP said, I hope that they could do the battle another time. So it wasn't like trying to just not book Jones again. Uh -huh. so, like, it just got out of control when I saw Jones read, when I saw Jones say what, you know, ARP retweeted. I think Jones might have just, I think he got, I think he took offense to, to the wrong thing. I think Jones, yeah, when you retweet something, sometimes you don't even care what you retweet, and you just, you know, you see. Uh -huh. And I think Jones might have saw that he retweeted that he backed out and took offense to that, and I don't, I don't know if he should have done that. I don't, I don't think he should have done that. You don't know, but wait a minute. But why would ARP tweet with the book? I mean, maybe he felt like that's what happened. What was happening? Yo, why did I say my Wi-Fi bugging? I don't even see that. Yeah, it's kind of wilding. It's definitely. It wilding. is. Yeah, man, you gotta. Come on, fix the antenna on your phone, bro. Yo, boy, like, I swear to God, my shit is straight on my end. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your shit freezing and glitching. Why you ain't say something? Yo, they saying it, man. I, it's none of my business, really. You know? Yo, Mickey, man. <laughs> Come on, Mickey B. Yo. You messing up now? No, nah, no, nah, you good now. You actually clear now. You clear now. Yo, Yo you, niggas is bro. why you ain't <laughs> up, man? It's been good to see you pull up to the event, B. Huh? It would have been good to see you pull up to the event. Yo, I thought the pull up to that shit, to be honest with you and shit. I was like, man, fuck that shit. So I'm staying home and don't order that shit. I should have. I should have. I should have. It's a lot of love in these streets, man, especially in Atlanta, man. Like, I got a lot of love out there, man. I didn't expect that, but it was it was, it was, was love. It was huge love out there. So, but let's get to Atlanta's this final. Where most of the events I went to was at. I know how Atlanta is and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, look. So you now you'll be mad now I'm a Wi-Fi. I don't even know all that, bro. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Cause I gotta hear what you gonna say. I, I wasn't on your your um clubhouse joint. I really don't know what you're getting ready to say, and I'm anxious to hear this. Cassidy and Hitman. Cassidy and Hitman. Everyone's been talking about it. It's the face off is that like a 10-minute face-off, damn near three million views. Never seen that happen before in like two weeks, something like that. The yeah, bad, they, they didn't face off yesterday. Like, what's up? Add Jag, add Jag, B. Add Jag, B. Add Jag? Yeah, you're right there. Add Jag, B. Right, hold up, hold up, Jag. Hold up, Jag. Hold up, Jag. Hold up, Jag. Let me hear this, though. Let me hear this real quick so I can make this just one upload. Yo. Um, Mook called me right before they started rapping. He was like, yo, I got 100 on cast. Okay. Me and I was like, Why you got a hundred? 
I was like, I'm not taking the bet. Mook said he got a hundred on Cass. He was like, I got because he had heard Cass rounds. He was like, yo, I got a hundred on Cass. And I was like, word, it's crazy. So for me, I gave the first round to Cassidy. Okay. I gave the first round to Cassidy. I gave the second round to Hitman. I thought Hitman's second round was good. I thought it's hit wow. second. Okay. And third round, the third round I gave the Hitman as well. Gave the third round to Hitman. Hitman 2 1. Hitman 2 1. Hitman 2 1. Really? Yeah. I gave it to Cass. You gave it to Cass. I gave it to Cass. Now, listen, I, Cass. I, listen I'm not mad at anybody giving it to Cass. And in my opinion, I think it's a very debatable battle. I put that up second round. I gave it Cass one and two. I listen, Cass and Hitman got booed in their second rounds. And I think oh. Cass second round, he started off joking and then he started to heat up. But I gotta I have to rewatch it too because in the building there was it was and this is what I wanted to say, because I was in the balcony. So in the building on the left side, there were people that were booing uh Hitman, and then the people in the front was cheering for Hitman. And then when Cass rapped, the people in the middle of the crowd were booing Cass. And then the people on the left side was cheering Cass. So it was very, it was interesting to see. And and, and it felt like that these people were planted, like, because it was like the people that were in the front, like they were like when, it, when, when what's the name, when Cass, when, 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 uh, when Hitman was getting booed, they were clapping. And it was just like, and they were wearing red, and it was just like, what? Like, this is weird. Um, and then on the left, the people were, uh, they were all for cast. Um, but again, I got to rewatch it. I, I felt like it was a very entertaining battle. I'm not mad at anybody saying cast won. I have no horse in this race. I don't, I don't care who won, to be honest. I'm not here to debate or argue with anybody. If somebody feels cast won, Give it to Cass. Absolutely. If somebody feels Hitman won, give it to Hitman. I do think it's a close battle. It's definitely uh, Cassidy's best time. Say being that again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say that again, what you just said? I said, if you think Hitman won, then Hitman won. If you think Cass won, Cass won. It's a very debatable battle. It's a debatable battle. Okay, now stop. Now stop. Was this battle supposed to be that? No, this battle wasn't supposed to be debatable. So, so can we can we agree that Cassidy won the war? Cassidy definitely won the war. He definitely won the war. We we debated on did he win the battle. He won the war already. He won the war. The question is, did he win the battle at this point? Yeah, and and it could go either way. Like I'm not if people saying I'm biased, I'm really not biased. You know, I think I thought that Hitman was gonna win. I think he pulled. I think he did enough to pull it off. But I won't. Really? Yo, no, Hitman wasn't bad. Don't get it fucked up. I'm not saying Hitman was bad, but. I like the way that Cassie was very direct at Hitman. Whether he was joking on him, clowning him, little boying him, whatever. Yeah, he had some outdated bars here and there. I think Cass did what he's supposed to do, bro. I think I think he, he had some work to do, obviously. I still feel like that. There was definitely times. Hitman, bro, Hitman bought out everything. Hitman brought out the remix. Hitman got show out rap. He didn't even just bring show out out. We used to we used to show out saying. Fuck he talking about and leaving it at that. He out here actually rapping with this nigga. We ain't never seen that before. Never he seen got that. Cannon jumping out in the third. I'm not in the brother. He's doing everything to beat Cassidy. He's not up there playing no games. He's doing everything to beat Cassidy, bro. And Cassidy's like Cassidy right there. I agree. That's did very, very, very well. I'm not I gotta rewatch it. If I rewatch it, I might have Cass one in this joint, like, but when I all first watched and and around the people that I was around, you know, I was I was I was next to Stali, I was next to uh, Meta, I was next to a lot of uh, Southern people, so a lot of them were going for Hitman, so that could also sway my opinion. I'm not I'm not, front, but, nah, but Hitman was good though. I like their first rounds, and their first rounds to me was really really good, and. Hitman's third round 
made me give Cassidy the first round clear because he validated him getting the autograph. Like he literally got crap from this nigga. So like you got to give Cass the first round. So really to me, it, it boils down to like the third round. You know what I'm saying? It boils down to that. Yo, I really didn't like in the how Hitman started his third that, with the whole angle. Like, get it, but it wasn't. It didn't really hit to me like that, bro. The whole when I met Cass and the, like it didn't. That it didn't hit to me like that. It didn't hit to me like that. I feel like he kind of started off kind of weak. I know what he was trying to say, but it, it didn't really connect with me like that. No, I, I, I. Uh... It didn't connect with me either, but it, it validated Cassidy's story in the first round. Exactly. Exactly. So they that they definitely yo, Cassidy had a lot of angles on Hitman too. Had a lot. I didn't even know about that this whole I didn't know Hitman did an interview and there were like faces of battle rappers on his wall. I didn't know that. So I took points away from Cassidy because it was like, yo, what is this nigga talking about? You know what I'm saying? But then they sent me the interview this morning and I'm like, oh man. Oh, he said, I, yo, I got plaques on my wall. You got battle rappers on your wall. That's crazy. That was crazy. Can we be honest here? Can we be honest here? Is it his? Is it his flow? Is that what it is? It might be. It might be the speed of what Cassidy does. Exactly. I, I think that plays a like very big part of anything. Some of his rhyme patterns can confuse the crowd a little bit, um, you know. But I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. This is, this is the first one. Bring Jag up, B. Come on, bring Jag up. All right, cool. No, nah, I, 